Okay, folks, in this video, we're going to take one of the uh, composite Tucano wings. That's the plane I built last year. And we're going to see uh, how strong it is. We're going to try and destroy it. So uh, let's go. But first, what we'll do is a recap on uh, how this wing is constructed, what's inside it, and then the finished result. First is two ounce cloth over the pre-painted uh, mold. Then now the uh, one eighth foam core and uh, a two ounce layer over that for the inside of the wing. Then the absorbent material, the uh, bagging uh, material is applied, which is the green one. But the inside frame, which is already pre-assembled, uh, we're going to uh, install that, test fit it, etc. And now the uh, outer skin, which goes on. Normally this is in the mold, but in this case, uh, we're testing everything, trying to get the detail right. That's the aileron uh, plate. Now we uh, apply our glue, which is just uh, epoxy with some thickener. And uh, we're now going to pre-glue the... Um, framework for the uh, main part of the wing for the spar holders etc this is the main part of the uh, inner wing which gives it basically all its strength put a bit of glue on top now it's time to just uh, put the mold off on get all the attachment points in and we'll be good to go so these wings are just the prototypes that I did, they're fully composite, uh, they were just test wings and we wanted to just see what we needed to do the detail, obviously the detail came up crap in this, it's really really bad, uh, we've figured out how to do that so it comes out perfect, the bottoms are a lot better but we, uh, we have improved it. Now, like I said, this wing basically has the spar and all the framework from about here to the root. So now I'm going to put this across. So uh, it's going to fail, it's definitely going to fail on this outboard section, which is perfectly strong enough for, in flight to get to this uh, destruction test. Let's try and see if we can snap it with our hands. Nope. <laughs> so, it's definitely going to break here, so let's see. Yeah, that's exactly where it broke. And, uh... But, again, that's where the framework is, and that's where I designed it. Get it right at the edge here. I designed it so this is the main lift and strength area, and the outer was just skins. So let's see, it's creaking a bit. It's taking my weight, no problem, so I'm going to bounce. Well, I would say. Uh, <laughs> these composite wings are pretty damn tough because if I did that with a uh, foam core and balsa skin wing that would be busted so let's take a look so you can see that this area here is totally hollow uh, the leading edge is simply glue laminated and then you've got this section here which is just I can't get apart. Uh, this just a piece of one eighth plywood, which uh, runs down here for the uh, ailerons. And in this center section, it's the flaps. So analyzing this, we have this section here, which is uh, the one eighth uh, foam called the Vinci foam 
It's an actual aeronautical foam, I believe. Anyway, I got it from an aeronautical supply place. And uh, it, it's pretty rigid. It really is. Uh, I've got, uh, I think it's two ounce cloth on the inside. The outside skin is also two ounce cloth. That was to try and get some weight saving. So it will break, but you really have to force it. So uh, this is how I designed the Takano wing and uh, it's been really, really good. And just to say that it is, I'm in my garage right now, which I guess is obvious with the car in the background. But uh, it's a cold day, it's only about 50 degrees Fahrenheit in my garage. And uh, let's see if we can break this thing. Okay, I'm gonna just focus my knee into this and see if we can break it. No. It's beyond my strength, anyhow. So, that's telling me that we have uh, pretty strong wings. So, in uh, conclusion, folks, uh, I'd say I designed a pretty uh, decent wing. Uh, There's no twist. It's uh, tough as nails. <laughs> oh, shit, that hurt. Um, I've designed all my planes to get them lightweight. So basically I have, you know, like a master spar and frame. And then this outer section is pretty much just the skins. And as you can see, when I'm trying to bend those skins, like this, it's pretty strong. So, you know, just that on the outer board of the wing during flight pulling G's, I uh, really don't believe that there's enough lift on this section or load that it will break. And if it did, the chances are I've got, you know, three quarters of the wing left, which is the main left area, and I could probably uh, bring it in and save it. So anyhow, that's my uh, demo for today. Um, the uh, MB399 Amarchi jet that we're currently designing is well on its way in CAD. So I think next week I'll probably be uh, putting up a video on the design part of it in CAD. And uh, it should be a, a really, really nice plane. It's going to be really, really detailed. Uh, single fan. I think we're going to use a Jet Fan 120 with a 580kV uh, in-runner motor and uh, we'll see how that goes. That's our next project. It's probably going to take, I'd say, about eight to nine months to uh, build. And uh, I'm really going to detail that build in the video. So uh, subscribe, ring the bell, get notifications, etc, etc. Come back soon. Keep an eye on the channel. It's really... Uh, going to improve. Also, as you know, I'm also uh, restoring this Audi TT. It's a 2002 and it came with a shitload of problems, but a perfect body, absolutely no rust, perfect paint, etc. Interior is gorgeous. So I'm restoring that. I'm doing the odd video on that as well. So if you're interested in cars, well, come along and check the Audi out. And uh, thanks for watching.